Hi, my name's Joe Atkinson. I'm one of the IPC Convergence Coordination Team. and I'm just going to uh, give you a quick introduction to the site for the Convergence. Okay, so starting at a kind of pattern level, um, we've got a kind of linear village street at the centre of the site, and this is going to have a marketplace in it, so there'll be all sorts of interesting stalls, there'll be a juice bar, um, we're going to invite some street food vendors to come and sell some um, sell some food. So that's kind of the centre of the site. Radiating out from the site we've got um, three neighbourhoods, so the yellow, green and dark blue neighbourhoods. and They've got a similar pattern which is they have one of these lodges which is where the dormitory accommodation is going to be uh, and that's got a kitchen, dining room, obviously bedrooms, bathrooms and toilets and a drying room um, and it's where things like morning circles will happen. Each one also has an associated uh, little fire circle outside and then behind each one of those there's a camping field so we're suggesting that the, the blue neighbourhood is quite near the um, the main um, workshop and entertainment space so we're recommending that if you're a, a night owl that you camp in this area. Early risers should camp in the green area and then the yellow camping field behind this lodge is uh, recommended for families. Part of the reason for that is that this is the kids area here in orange and then up here in the top corner is the tented village so these are the um, bell tents that have already been um, erected. The red area over here is self-catering uh, neighbourhood so that's a slightly different pattern. Um, they're going to have there's a small hut here which has got some very basic kitchen facilities but we'd recommend that you bring your own um, stove if you can. So moving down towards the southern end of the site um, at the south end of the uh, linear village street we've got the main info tent so this is where where you should go if you've got any queries or you need to speak to the staff or the crew um, then on the edge between this area and the main workshop and entertainment space is the cafe so that's going to be serving hot drinks cake uh, and light meals throughout the day Further away on the site, we've got um, there are some faith-based spaces. So there's um, a Buddhist sala here, an open-air chapel, uh, a synagogue, and a, an indoor chapel. Through the woods from here, there's um, a large fire circle here. And we, because this is further away from the accommodation, we recommend this is the fire circle that's used for evening fires. Further away still, um, this is the firewood store and here's the swimming pool. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom out. So the other thing to note is that we've got um, these tracks that um, go all the way around the site. So if you're going to be arriving in a vehicle um, you can gain access to all the camping areas by um, driving around this uh, this track here. Uh, dark grey areas are um, areas which we don't have access to but apart from those you can access pretty much the whole of the rest of the site. Okay so I'm going to take you on a um, bit of a journey of ha what happens when you arrive. Okay so this is the um, main entrance. As you come up the drive there'll be a gazebo or tent on the right hand side and some of the crew will be waiting there to greet you and they'll give you directions about where to go. So there's going to be a short stay car park and drop off area um, first. Then if you're arriving on Thursday when most people are arriving the registrations are going to be in the main marquee on the, on the uh, workshop and entertainment area. Um, just beyond this area, this is where the camping fields are for these two, the blue and green neighbourhoods. Um, so this is the night owls camping and beyond that the early birds camping and they're going to share this, uh, this is a shower and um, toilet block here. Okay, so moving back towards the centre of the site. 
here's the cafe we've talked about beyond that is going to be the information tent and then from there you can see these are the dormitory uh, lodges so this blue structure and this green one and the market street which is all kind of like nice tree-lined sort of boulevard going a little bit beyond the market space we've got the final lodge and then behind that we've got the family camping field over here just close to the family camping and um, the, the yellow lodge is the kids area here and behind that there is a, a toilet block here as well. Self-catering camping is um, in a much more wooded area of the site so it's nice and it's quite sort of secluded woodland feel to this space and the tented village is behind there. Um, this building to the right here is also a um, shower and toilet block and also has sinks for washing up so if you're um, self-catering this is where you can do you wash all your dishes okay so the little yellow hut here is um, what's called a patrol cabin so that's extra accommodation uh, the red hut is where there's some very basic kitchen equipment but um, don't get too excited about that and then finally just beyond the uh, family camping area is this uh, what we're calling the well-being area and that's going to have uh, like a sauna um, there's going to be herbal first aid um, herbal tea and there's also going to be like what we're calling the heart and soul area um, so yeah if you're interested in finding out more about that go and check it out the idea is it's away from the main site it's a place to go and relax get away from it all de-stress and escape from the intensity of the the convergence Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, more detail will come as and when we design it, but um, for now that should give you a bit of an overview of the kind of the main pattern of the site and where some of the main elements are. And we really look forward to welcoming you and having a great convergence together. See you there. Bye.